ACRG TV 9's Libby Randall spoke with one of those researchers on how they were able to protect even more patients with this discovery. The treatment drug for non-muscle invasive bladder cancer has been in short supply for years. Because of recent increased demand, it's recently become even harder to come by. Now we have a single company that's producing BCG and periodically uh, there have been intermittent and worsening shortages of BCG kind of under their production. That's why Dr. Pacquiam, along with a team of other UI researchers, work to find an alternative. Now patients are able to seek treatment through a more readily available combination of treatments, drugs called gemcitabine and docetaxel. We started by using this uh, two drug combination, which I'll call gemdosi, uh, for situations when we simply did not have BCG available. We started to notice that uh, the drug works just as well as BCG. While the BCG shortage is ongoing and many patients, not just in Iowa, are still having a hard time getting access to the treatment, Gemdosi has become equally effective, yet more accessible. This research is just one small step in that journey for patients with bladder cancer and all, the, all other cancers that um, we're working on treating. In Iowa City, Libby Randall, KCRG TV 9 News.